that same thought process behind it of, you know, why, why isn't it this fast? Why can't we have it this way? That's exactly why I started Jenga FX and started working on Imogen. Hey everybody, Chris Kelly here with ProductionCrate.com on the Creators channel. Today, I am joined by Nick Sievert. Nick is the founder and CEO of Jenga FX, which you probably know for their incredible software, Embergen. People are completely mind blown by its abilities, so I knew I had to get Nick on the podcast. So Nick, thank you so much for joining us. Yeah, thank you very much for having me. I, I want to start with Embergen, but I know Jenga FX has more tools. But let's start sure. with it. What is Embergen? Embergen is a real-time volumetric fluid simulation plugin. And essentially, if you want explosions, fire, smoke, dry ice, you know, magic, anything along those lines, uh, Embergen can help you do it instantaneously instead of waiting, you know, 12 hours for a sim and render. I've had the idea for Embergen since 2012, and I was actually using FumeFX, and I was working in games and all my tools were real time for games. I'm like, mm -hmm. why can't this be real time too? And so it took me a while to build a team and start a company and all that stuff. And I started it in 2016 and we started actually working on it in 2018. That same thought process behind it of, you know, why, why isn't it this fast? Why can't we have it this way? That's exactly why I started Jenga FX and started working on Imogen. Rendering is um, very useful for visual effects artists, but I know you guys are also very focused and loved in the game industry. Do you ever sure. feel torn between like trying to support both the gaming and the visual effects industry? A little bit. We, we have been like divided for over a year and we said, okay, we should just focus on games. And then film people were like, hey, we want BDBs. We want this, we want that, we want this, we want yeah. that. And we're like, okay, we we understand. And so we're, we're, we're headed towards film now. We were torn up for, for quite a while, but thankfully we're focused on the, the film's needs too, so yeah. So I've seen that you guys have a public roadmap where people can stay up to date with the releases you guys are planning or new features you're adding. What other big features can you tell us about that you guys are at least tempted to go in or considering going in? Yeah, so uh, right now we're actually working on a brand new UI rewrite. Uh, like right now, I think our UI takes like eight milliseconds to draw, which is a huge hit on performance, believe it or not. And um, we got it down to like half a millisecond with this new UI. We've got sparse uh, simulations coming up so that you don't have a bound limitation, essentially. That's that's about all I can talk about for the second. Those yeah. are pretty good. Yeah, those yeah. are pretty good things. And so, but definitely the UI rewrite is the thing that I'm, I'm the most excited about because I mean, it takes Embergen from like, this is a really cool tool mm -hmm. and it's kind of nifty to this is a performance professional grade product and like it's so easy it's so fast it's so streamlined and clean and it's just going to change everything for the better i'm, I'm super excited wow for it. i love embergen obviously we've been talking about this whole time but as you mentioned jenga fx isn't just embergen you've got um vector Regen. i think is your is that your only other product up right now yeah, so right now we just have uh, Embergen and Vector Agen. And Vector Agen is mainly a games focused tool, but it does work with Embergen. So it's just a box full of vectors and then the vectors tell particles or whatever where to go. Um, and so you can import those vector fields into Embergen and create like custom noise fields or, you know, force fields, whatever. It's very cool. I use X particles a lot. I'm a C4D user and yep. um, it, it looks similar to like the XP flow field, which you're probably sure. familiar and that, with. And that is, that's exactly what it is. It's, mm -hmm that kind of stuff. What were you doing before you started Jenga FX? I was working in various startups, kind of like as an, an entrepreneur. So that's kind of what I've wanted to do uh, for quite some time. On the side, I always did visual effects. Uh, so, you know, I, I did freelance VFX for quite a while and I've been doing visual effects for games since 2007. The biggest thing that I worked on was called No More Room in Hell. And it was a, a Half-Life 2 mod, uh, Total Conversion won quite a few like awards from like PC Gamer and ModDB.com and, you know, Mod of the Year and all that stuff. And so that was like my big like taste of success. And during that time I was using Fume FX and I was like, God, oh, I need, I need something faster than this. And that's whenever like my business ideas started up while I was working on Jenga FX, I was actually working as a VFX artist professionally at a, a game studio called Funcom. And so they made like Conan Exiles, Secret World Legends and, and stuff like that. 
before Emergen was even like publicly available, I was using it in production at Funcom. And so that was the cool thing about it is they knew that I had my own company. They knew that what I, what my end goal was eventually to leave and whatnot. But I said, hey, you know, let me work there. I'll test my tools and I'll create kick-ass visual effects for you. I guarantee it. And, you know, that's kind of the arrangement that we had. And I'm, I'm very thankful that, that they let me do that. Is there a fear, like an existential fear of a competitor showing up? We have a very unique offering. And even if another competitor came up, they probably won't understand the problem like we do, and they won't have the passion that we do. You know, like that's the thing is we, we respect all the tools out there, you know. I like to have healthy competition between Absolutely. everybody, you know, and, you know, I, I might, you know, say some things here and there, but it's all in, in good intentions, I think. <laughs> yeah, of course. You know? And you want you want to provide your user base with the best possible tool, like that's exactly. where it comes down to. Yeah. Um, you mentioned uh, a lot of games have used your stuff. Can you give us uh, a couple of the big names that you're like very proud of that have used your content? The only two names that I can give publicly right now is uh, Metro Exodus. And I think they used it on their Sam Story DLC, which is a, a pretty big DLC that they did. And so a lot of the fire and explosion stuff that they did in that was used with Embergen. And then uh, Postscriptum, uh, big game, they, they used our, our tool as well. Um, and then there are titles that are absolutely gigantic in the games industry that are using can't Emergen. Can't say quite too. yet. Yeah, can't say quite yet. You know, yeah. got to get permission for that kind of stuff. But, you know, like I said, the one thing I can say is like, think of the biggest game companies. They use Emergen. Nick, we just have a couple speed questions for you. So you ready? I'm ready. Okay. What is your favorite software other than Embergen or any, any Jenga effects, I should clarify? Unreal Engine 4. Oh, by cool. far. I mean, I, I love Unreal Engine 4. And uh, if I had to go with a tool that's different than that, then probably Photoshop. Uh, if you had to walk six feet over hot coals barefoot or six miles in Antarctica with whatever the best cold weather clothing you have in your closet right now, uh, which would you choose? I would do Antarctica, honestly. You think? I don't you have like a really feet. nice winter coat? <laughs> <laughs> you know, yeah, I have, I have a pretty good pretty good winter coat i think if embergen could have been used in any movie that's already out what movie would you have liked to see embergen used in armageddon wow yeah makes sense <laughs> <laughs> the, the, the one with um uh, ben affleck and, and that stuff so yeah i think the meteor's like going to like new york city and just blowing up all the buildings and you know all the asteroids and all that stuff like i, I would like to see that would be like the whole embergen reel right there what is your favorite candy bar Ooh, uh, I think I think my favorite candy bar is probably a payday. So it's like you know peanuts and like really soft and caramel. Caramel, yeah, yeah. Uh, are you playing any video games right now? Absolutely, I play video games all the time. Yeah. <laughs> uh, my my main one is Hearthstone. Um, I play a lot of Hearthstone. I play a little bit of Counter Strike, and then also I've been playing a little bit of Rust as well. If you could have any non-existent fantasy animal as a pet and like it'd be totally tame what pet would it be a jackalope jackalope yeah, so really like the, the bunny with horns with the horns yeah totally i don't <laughs> i was expecting like um like a griffin or a dragon or something you can like fly and ride around on and <laughs> terrorize the city or something yeah you know like a jackalope. Up, just a jackalope awesome nick well thank you so much for doing this interview can you tell our viewers where they can uh find your work yeah so jengafx.com j-a-n-g-a-f-x.com and so, yeah, that's, that's where you can find our work. Twitter, yep. Facebook, anything. Just search that and, and you'll find it for sure. Thanks a lot, Nick. Yep, thanks a lot. Yep. See ya. All right, see ya. Yep.